Hello everyone, this is TSET ABCD and welcome to another Katan video here on my channel. So playing the base game and I'm playing this game for my road to top 10 series. I am in the fourth position here. Seems like this is going to be a difficult game because there is not a lot of ore. There is a quite a good amount of wood but not a lot of brick and wheat is either too much or too little with 6 or 8 or 12 and 2. I don't think um, 6, 4, 9 or 6, 3, 4 will be open for me. So then how do I compensate for wheat? Eight five ten will surely be open. Yeah, I'm not sure how do I play this game. Maybe I have to go for something like eight five ten six three eleven as a setup. Because somebody will surely go for Okay, 695 is just a very strong production spot. And actually, Brown can pair this up with 83 directly. Just play a OV cheap game. There's a good chance 83 is open. Okay, yeah, so this was expected. So now maybe I can continue with my original plan of like something like 6, 3, 11, 8, 5, 10. Or I can go for 6, 3, similar to 8, 3. And pair it up with 8, 5, 10. Not sure actually. Actually, maybe I can go for something like um, 6, 3, 11, point to the left and then just try and get to the sheep port. So isn't it better if I start at 6, 11, 12, point up, start with a road in hand. And with all the sheep that I have, it is, sheep port does seem quite juicy. Maybe I can even point to the right and go towards 910. I don't like that option. I mean, I don't dislike that option. I'll go for it. So playing without a starting wheat, but my focus would be to get to the sheep port here. And brown, I think will continue with 8-3 plan. The thing is if a couple of 6s or a 6-9 roll early on, brown can just do a 4 is to 1, uh, sorry a 2 is to 1 with the wood port and build a road towards the sheep tile or the sheep board. The other option Brown has is, yeah, I don't think so anywhere in the center makes a lot of sense. And uh, maybe red wants to go for nine, 10, 11, which will take away the nine, 10 spot from me.
if red goes for 9 10 11 i'm i'm still thinking brown goes for 8 3 i don't think so there is anything else that makes maybe brown goes for 9 10 11 and then tries to get to the sheep port okay but yeah as expected does go for 8 3 and now red will go for either 10 3 11 or 9 10 11 i think 9 10 11 seems slightly better for red So here I would want a couple of fives to roll early on and also a couple of sixes to roll. Yeah, so this was expected. Might target brown because brown is the only one who has wheat here. So we'll block the six. Which will only hurt me, it doesn't hurt brown at all. It's the steal from brown, let's see. And was able to get a weed. Yeah, I'll ask for a 1 is to 2. I know it's not going to be accepted. I think black blocks the 8 wheat. Should be the 8 wheat. Here a 6 would be a pretty good roll for me. Yeah. Let's see if I get this trade. I don't think so anybody has wood to give away. I mean, Brown still doesn't have a road in hand. I think Brown only has one. Okay, now maybe Brown has... Brown has two woods. Uh, let's see if I get this trade. Yeah, let's see. Now if black, sorry, brown wants to accept it, brown might want to do a 1 is to 2 here. So this is exactly what I wanted. Now I do have a playable setup at least. Solo blocks black. That is surprising. I mean, black does have a pretty strong setup. The three to one port. I mean, black has better sheep production than I do. Here, let's see if I can get any trade. Basically, I'm just trying to get some wheat here. Uh, Brown might accept this, trying to buy a dev card. I don't want to do a 2 is to 1. I mean, it is worth it. Yeah, maybe not. Giving Brown a city might be scary. And exactly, I mean, a 6 does rule. So red here will get a city because of that year of plenty.
immediately puts red in a very very strong position Uh, let's see if I get a 1 is to 2. If I get this trade, I can buy a dev card. Oh, sorry, I can get a city myself. Might not be the best idea. Let's see. I mean, Brown is considering it. So let's offer a trade like this. You might just run, okay. Does a two is to one and gets the city. A very, very strong city. Here, I mean, five over has to be the easy target. So I'll get my settlement, hoping that a 3 and a 12 rolls, that is surely going to be quite unlikely. My next plan would be to get a settlement on the 3 to 1 port. Or if I get a little lucky with a couple of 5s, maybe I can try and get to 9-2. And because I already have two ores in hand, a uh, city is also an option for me. That said, I'm a little surprised. Like, Red played the year of plenty to buy two wheats from the bank. Although Red did get a city out of it, maybe it wasn't the best idea because Red produces a lot of wheat here with the eight. Okay, so I am basically a 3 or a 12 away from getting a city now. Okay, red accepts it. That is fine. I mean, I cannot accept it. Okay, seems like Brown has a counter offer. So maybe I can get a trade here. If not, I think my best move is to just get a wheat and end my turn. But there is a good chance I'll get a trade for wheat based on all the wheat production that we have on this board. Yeah. I know I want to get to 9-2 as well. But um, it doesn't seem it will be easy to get there. I mean, I have one road. Yeah, maybe I can consider 9-2. Okay, so I'm getting a future wheat here. So now a 6 or a 9 can give me a settlement on 9-2. Okay, this is exactly what I want. A 12 would be a perfect roll because it will give me a city and a, 
okay let's see if i get this trade so this will give me a city and a settlement towards not a settlement but at least two roads towards 92 Otherwise, yeah, I'll just build those two roads in my town. Okay, so Red also had a road builder. So Red actually got lucky with their dev cards, getting a year of plenty, got a city, and now a road builder gives them a settlement on 9-10. Here, let's see, I mean, if I can get a trade like this, I'll accept it. Okay, so at the at the very least I have a city in hand. If not, I would still like to get a settlement this turn. Uh, let's see if okay black agrees, so I have to agree it. I get a one is to one, but wasn't it for a free? Yeah. Uh... Okay, I mean, okay, surely this is giving black a city. I don't think so. Anybody should be accepting this trade. Okay, so I can buy a dev card and get a, actually I cannot get a settlement. I can only get a city here. If I get this trade, I can get a settlement. Let's see if anybody is willing to accept this. Because getting a settlement is also pretty good for me. Uh, improves my sheep production. Okay, let's see. So Brown accepts it. This is actually not bad for me. So now my sheep port will be churning resources left and right or should be churning resources for me left and right. 
and I will also try and get to 6.2 uh, that would improve my uh, wheat production I mean for brown the 9 sheep is an easy block maybe blocks the 8 sheep Yeah, does block the eight sheep, steals the sheep, so will be able to buy a dev card. So, I mean, blocking the eight still m makes sense. I get a sheep. I would have, I mean, I think sheep is fine. I would have preferred an ore, but this is okay. I mean, I can also try and get to the threes to one port with all the wood that I have. Maybe it will come in handy. Yeah, I don't want a single word here. If nothing else works out, I can just build a settlement towards 11, 12. And although Brown is saying that they have a road builder, I'm not completely agreeing to it. Like I, maybe it is true, maybe it isn't. Here, let's see if I get a trade like this. This will actually give me a settlement on 6-2. Okay. Yeah, so this is actually not bad because this also gives me the longest road and a settlement on the wheat tile. Now basically I need to do is get two cities. Also, I mean, I still have an option of getting a road settlement. Might block the six uh, wheat now. Okay, continues to block the eight. It's fine. And an eight rolls. That hurts me a little. But hurts black as well. Sixes are good. I mean, at this point, I can get one settlement and a city, right, to win the game. So let's just focus on that. I don't think anybody will be taking the longest road away from me. Even if red does, it will not be too long for too long because red Red's uh, roads are capped, whereas I can still continue building.
Your uh, five would be a good role. Actually, it maybe five isn't a good role anymore because giving two ores to brown and red seems a little scary. If black plays a knight, will steal from me. Yeah. Okay, so this is good. Basically, I have a, I need a eight, ten, or a nine, and I'll have a settlement. Here, I, maybe red has a sheep, but I mean, I have to target brown, right? Brown is much stronger. Yeah, I don't think there is anything I can do. I don't even want to build an extra road. Okay, one turn too late. Also, I'm a little surprised that Brown has so far only played one knight. Maybe now plays the second knight. Will block the eight. Hopefully, doesn't steal my brick or sheep. I might might target black because I am on eight cards. Yeah, it does target black there. I owe him this. Okay. Yeah, I mean, I could have just rejected that deal. I mean, black hopefully plays a knight and steals my wheat. I think that is the only resource I am willing to give up here. If it doesn't play a knight, okay, at least I don't get seven out, but I know I am going to be a target and nobody's going to be trading with me. So let's just do this. Now, all I need to do is get a city. Oh, I did not get a wheat because bank had one less wheat. Maybe a monopoly on wheat is incoming. Please, and I, it will target me. Or solo blocks me on the five and gets a vote. So actually that doesn't help red at all. And it doesn't hurt me too much either because for me, I need to get a, I need to get a city. Okay, but we'll block the eight and steal my wheat. I'll be surprised if anything other than my eight is blocked. Maybe block the six wheat. Okay, blocks the nine. Will surely steal from me here. Okay, steals from red, but might just play a knight, take army. Okay, plays a road builder. So Brown wasn't lying there.
Yeah, here I mean I have to target brown. Okay, so brown has a sheep in hand. So I get a brick. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, so I'll just hold on to these cards. Red will steal from me. Hopefully steals a brick. I mean, I don't mind red taking the longest road for now. Yeah, wheat is something that hurts me. I think instead of buying dev cards and getting either knight or yeah, getting knights, I think it is better I just focus on getting a city. I mean, if I trade my brick away, I can get maybe a wheat or a sheep from red. Okay, so red is trying to connect over from there. Yeah, black will again steal from me. My target or sh okay. So what can I do? I have the threes to one port. Maybe I just buy a dev card here. Try and pull a VP. I mean, I said I want to get a city, right? Maybe I build two roads, stop uh, red from connecting or I can just pull for the win. I think pulling for the win makes a little more sense here. Yeah, maybe red just gets a city. Plays a monopoly and steals only five ores. I don't even think that was a good monopoly. It does get a city though and takes longest road. So we'll be on eight points. So here I will steal from brown, hoping that I roll a seven. Okay, I don't, but I can just pull for a win again. I get a year of plenty. Actually, that is useful. It will help me get a city. Okay, so now I have a city in hand.
Yeah, seems like Brown is also just trying to pull for the win here. But with that 10, I can actually take back the longest road. No, I can't. I need to build three roads. But I can only build uh, two. Even with my year of plenty, I can only build two roads because I'll be left with two sheep and two wheats in hand. So, yeah, if that is the case, then I think my best option is to just get a city here. I will end my turn with zero cards in hand. And now I'm thinking I'll just build a road here. I mean, if something happens the way, it, I mean, something different happens, maybe I can just get two settlements. I mean, I cannot get two settlements. I, I can only get one. I need a city because I already have four settlements. A seven would be good. Maybe I should have had a city on 9-2. Yeah, so... Yeah, luckily... Black isn't pulling, a, sorry, brown isn't pulling a VP. Here, if I roll a 7, I can maybe block the 10 here. I'm not sure what is a good block. Yeah, I don't think anybody is trading and I cannot do anything. Let's see. As long as my brick isn't stolen, I think I'm okay. Or maybe, yeah, maybe Brown just wins here. Okay, pulls a... So I have a win in hand. Unless Black lied and has a monopoly, okay. Okay, so now I can just win the game. I can build three roads, right? Yep. So that will give me the longest road here. So this will be six, seven and eight, right? Yeah. So yeah, I win the game there. Very, very close. I had good trades with Brown and Brown only had one VP. Black wasn't lying. Black did have two and the red had one. So red was on nine points. Yeah, eights were the huge game changers. Also fives giving me break. Sixes were fine. I mean, gave me only one board for quite some time. But I got good trades, right? especially I got wheat for sheep trades with brown quite a bit. Yeah. So. Amount of resource income blocked is more or less even for everyone because I think the eight was blocked and um, 
everyone has a city on it so makes sense resources lost by getting robbed yeah, i was it was only brown and i who were being targeted the most I, in the end i think black targeted uh, brown as well which was good for me but um, yeah resource production is also pretty de even for everyone a little bad for black but then i think that is because fours and threes did not roll much black was quite dependent on those and also sixes and nines like black second settlement was six nine four but didn't get a lot of those rolls and although eight was a good roll but yeah overall i think it was a decent game uh, the monopoly was played by red got only five votes i don't think so i think that was a little hasty but that is what it is anyway uh, let's take a look at the leaderboard now so that puts me in the top 500 and my win percentage is still quite abysmal but let's see hopefully it will improve uh, bye for now and see you again in the next video bye bye